and to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic yep. safety protocol for real world decision making. Yes. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Choice. Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate yes, you let me go. on safe decision Free making me. in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. No. Geeks, what is going on? United Plans here back in your life. With another episode of The Stanley Parable. So far, this game has been uh, mind boggling. It's all about choice. Uh, and I honestly have no idea what this episode has in store for us. We played Minecraft, we played Portal, we burned a baby, we ended up in some crazy wooden hut. We've been in all different parts of this building, endless mazes. We've had a narrator all go of insane. All co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps mm. he had simply missed a memo. So this is a fresh start. I can feel it. We've been through there. Shouldn't the meeting room be? Yes. Just up here, I guess. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I want to get back to that crazy baby thing. Did I, how did I do that? Did I choose no doors? Is that a thing? Alright, so if we have to make a choice, do we go to the break room? No. No. There's too much adventure to be had elsewhere. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he break wanted room. to stop by the employee lounge yes. first, just to admire it. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time understood true happiness. Then the feeling went away, and he felt sad this game again. Is so crazy. Then it came back and lingered for a minute or two. Now it's only half there. Yes. Just a kind of um tingle. Is there things to be had in this room? Things to do. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Was that my last warning? Must I leave now? All right. All right, let's go. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. No, you know what? We haven't gone straight in a while. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Can I make it down there? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone I'm else can be jump difficult, down there. but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking. All right, let's. We've missed something in this direction. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into All your right, life. Back here. She's been waiting. Now, guys, last I did this before, and if it happens again, I just won't show you this one. But this is the path that led to that crazy robot wife. And, and just being trapped in infinity. There was a... Yes. That's her, Stan. Give me a choice. You need to be the one to do No, this, I will not. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your oh, face yes. in another, 
Then pick up the phone. Oh, yes. No, 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 you can't. Did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't supposed now to be a I'll choice. Leave. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly? Yes. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. <laughs> no, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife. Not this and time. Not this time, old chap. Another. Music comes in, fade to white, real quick. Yes, I remember. Picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? Uh, None of these decisions genius. were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a I second. Win. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Yep. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic yep. safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Yes. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Choice. Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate yes, let you me properly go. on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. No. Choice. It's the best part of being a this real person. This is such person, a good game. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. <laughs> for example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. What? This is such a weird game. What? Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of yeah. space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. What is this? What is this? Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. Oh my gosh. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you oh. made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Oh. Uh, guys, I'm going to have to take a break. I'm going to continue this crazy adventure next episode. Thank you for watching this episode of The Stanley Parable. I, as always, am Unite the Clans. And I will see you geeks in the next one where we continue this insanity, absolute insanity.